An orbital spaceflight or orbital flight is a spaceflight in which a spacecraft is placed on a trajectory where it could remain in space for at least one orbit. To do this around the Earth, it must be on a free trajectory which has an altitude at perigee, altitude at closest approach above 100 kilometers, 62 miles. This is by at least one convention, the boundary of space. To remain in orbit at this altitude requires an orbital speed of approximately 7.8 kilometers per second. Orbital speed is slower for higher orbits, but attaining them requires greater delta v. Due to atmospheric drag, the lowest altitude at which an object in a circular orbit can complete at least one full revolution without propulsion is approximately 150 kilometers (93 miles). The expression "orbital spaceflight" is mostly used to distinguish from suborbital spaceflights, which are flights where the apogee of a spacecraft reaches space, but the perigee is too low. Orbital launch Orbital spaceflight from Earth has only been achieved by launch vehicles that use rocket engines for propulsion. To reach orbit, the rocket must impart to the payload a delta V of about 9.3 to 10 km per second. This figure is mainly approximately 7.8 km per second for horizontal acceleration needed to reach orbital speed, but allows for atmospheric drag approximately 300 m per second with the ballistic coefficient of a 20 m long dense fueled vehicle, gravity losses depending on burn time and details of the trajectory and launch vehicle, and gaining altitude. The main proven technique involves launching nearly vertically for a few kilometers while performing a gravity turn, and then progressively flattening the trajectory out at an altitude of 170 plus km and accelerating on a horizontal trajectory with the rocket angled upwards to fight gravity and maintain altitude for a 5 to 8 minute burn until orbital velocity is achieved. Currently, two to four stages are needed to achieve the required delta V. Most launches are by expendable launch systems. The Pegasus rocket for small satellites instead launches from an aircraft at an altitude of 12 km. There have been many proposed methods for achieving orbital spaceflight that have the potential of being much more affordable than rockets. Some of these ideas such as the space elevator, and rotavator, require new materials much stronger than any currently known. Other proposed ideas include ground accelerators such as launch loops, rocket-assisted aircraft, spaceplanes such as reaction engine Skylon, scramjet-powered spaceplanes, and RBCC-powered spaceplanes. Gun launch has been proposed for cargo. From 2015 SpaceX have demonstrated significant progress in their more incremental approach to reducing the cost of orbital spaceflight. Their potential for cost reduction comes mainly from pioneering propulsive landing with their reusable rocket booster stage as well as their Dragon capsule, but also includes reuse of the other components such as the payload fairings and the use of 3D printing of a superalloy to construct more efficient rocket engines, such as their SuperDraco. The initial stages of these improvements could reduce the cost of an orbital launch by an order of magnitude. Topic. Stability An object in orbit at an altitude of less than roughly 200 km is considered unstable due to atmospheric drag. For a satellite to be in a stable orbit i.e. sustainable for more than a few months, 350 km is a more standard altitude for low Earth orbit. For example, on 1 February 1958 the Explorer 1 satellite was launched into an orbit with a perigee of 358 km 222 miles. It remained in orbit for more than 12 years before its atmospheric re-entry over the Pacific Ocean on 31 March 1970. However, the exact behavior of objects in orbit depends on altitude, their ballistic coefficient, and details of space weather which can affect the height of the upper atmosphere. Orbits There are three main bands of orbit around the Earth, low Earth orbit Leo, medium Earth orbit Mio, and geostationary orbit Geo. Due to orbital mechanics, orbits are in a particular, largely fixed plane around the Earth, which coincides with the center of the Earth, and may be tilted with respect to the equator. 
The Earth rotates about its axis within this orbit, and the relative motion of the spacecraft and the movement of the Earth's surface determines the position that the spacecraft appears in the sky from the ground, and which parts of the Earth are visible from the spacecraft. By dropping a vertical down to the Earth's surface it is possible to calculate a ground track that shows which part of the Earth a spacecraft is immediately above, and this is useful for helping to visualize the orbit. Orbital maneuver In spaceflight, an orbital maneuver is the use of propulsion systems to change the orbit of a spacecraft. For spacecraft far from Earth—for example those in orbits around the Sun—an orbital maneuver is called a deep space maneuver DSM. Deorbit and reentry Returning spacecraft including all potentially manned craft have to find a way of slowing down as much as possible while still in higher atmospheric layers and avoid hitting the ground lithobraking or burning up. For many orbital space flights, initial deceleration is provided by the retrofiring of the craft's rocket engines, perturbing the orbit by lowering perigee down into the atmosphere onto a suborbital trajectory. Many spacecraft in low Earth orbit e.g., nano-satellites or spacecraft that have run out of station-keeping fuel or are otherwise non-functional solve the problem of deceleration from orbital speeds through using atmospheric drag aerobraking to provide initial deceleration. In all cases, once initial deceleration has lowered the orbital perigee into the mesosphere, all spacecraft lose most of the remaining speed, and therefore kinetic energy, through the atmospheric drag effect of aerobraking. Intentional aerobraking is achieved by orienting the returning spacecraft so as to present the heat shields forward toward the atmosphere to protect against the high temperatures generated by atmospheric compression and friction caused by passing through the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds. The thermal energy is dissipated mainly by compression heating the air in a shockwave ahead of the vehicle using a blunt heat shield shape, with the aim of minimizing the heat entering the vehicle. Sub-orbital space flights, being at a much lower speed, do not generate anywhere near as much heat upon re-entry. Even if the orbiting objects are expendable, most space authorities are pushing toward controlled re-entries to minimize hazard to lives and property on the planet. History Sputnik 1 was the first human-made object to achieve orbital spaceflight. It was launched on 4 October 1957 by the Soviet Union. Vostok 1, launched by the Soviet Union on 12 April 1961, carrying Yuri Gagarin, was the first successful human spaceflight to reach Earth orbit. Vostok 6, launched by the Soviet Union on 16 June 1963, carrying Valentina Tereshkova, was the first successful woman carrying out a spaceflight to reach Earth orbit. See also List of orbits Project HARP was a failed attempt, and a ram accelerator is another design, to launch an object into orbit with a gun. Rocket launch Non-rocket space launch Spaceport, including a list of sites for orbital launches.